Welcome to Big Natural Talents. Well, Conchetta. Well, Lauren. Well, how are we today? <laughs> <laughs> I um, have something to open the floor with that um, I hope that you will appreciate that I could have kept this to myself. Oh my God, please take but the floor. But I decided to share it. I got out of the shower the other day and anyone who knows you knows that you <laughs> suffer from lesions of the skin, whether it be fungal <laughs> or otherwise. And I had like oh my something God. on my back. No. I have, and I saw that and I thought, oh my God, is that ringworm is that <laughs> has Conchetta given that to me yeah I haven't seen Conchetta in a while like I surely it can't be from her it can't be her fungus and I just thought wow like that's the universe being like <laughs> hey Lauren you think that you're too good for a fungal skin infection <laughs> guess what here's one and then the first thing I did as well what? is we were all learning about each other you know I went to my boyfriend and I said what's this well, well, <laughs> well. <laughs> and I called this story in my notes, well, 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 because oh, that was what I deserved. My God. This <laughs> is the Lord in heaven yes, saying, Lauren, yes, you're not too different yes. from your old gal, Conchetta. So I put some cortisone cream on it. I, don't, I think it's still there. I don't <gasps> know. I think it's just dry skin. It might just be like, mm, or it could know. be something else. Could be something God, worse. Oh could God. be something that takes a lot of time, a lot of <laughs> mental <laughs> strain <laughs> might start oozing and pussing and your boyfriend might leave you lauren no, <laughs> so I get you, strapped you in because i would cover it up <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be applying foundation yeah, to your back yeah. anyway so i'll keep you guys updated on that and um, me especially off mic i'm gonna make yeah, you lift yeah, your yeah. little top up sweetie yeah. and show me what we're working with yeah i'm all tucked in so it's not coming out right now but um we'll get you to have a look <laughs> That's so exciting. I'm glad to know that Lauren is thriving in lockdown. Um, and same for me. I have spilled my boyfriend's coffee yeah. twice this lockdown. So <laughs> like we, this cup of coffee? Yeah, so um, y you know those coffee... I, we, the, in the Italian community, we call it a caffettiera. And it's like the coffee, the like silver coffee machine that yeah. you like... Oh, like a yeah, stovetop coffee. Stovetop coffee. It's what I grew yeah. up with, blah, blah, blah. And little did I know I'm an adult, so I can like have one for my, myself and my own family. Wow. And we bought a really small one, which was a mistake. Yes, and even. we also, on the stovetop, Lauren, it has nothing to like make it be stable. Yeah. So literally a wind could blow in our apartment and that thing is on the stove, coffee, boiling hot coffee it's is dangerous. All, oh, it's so dangerous. It's so bad. And the first time I did it, we it was like a shock and it was like, ha ha ha, <laughs> bad, crazy, put on Instagram, got the most replies of anything I've ever yeah. put up in my life. The next time it happened, Ben's making himself his own coffee. Yeah. He's also got um, like a something, uh, eggs on the stove. Mm. And I'm complaining because I'm like, the pan's too hot, Ben. The pan's too hot. Let, why are you doing that? I'm just like nagging. You're Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I'm Gordon eggs. Ramsay. You're like, actually, you want to go slow and slow and add a creme fraiche. And I'm calling him an asshole. Yeah. I'm like <laughs> swearing at him. And I went to like grab the pan. Yeah. And it just the slightest touch of the thing yeah. everywhere. And I've never seen Ben look so disappointed, <laughs> devastated. And it like wasn't funny this time. No, <laughs> it really also, wasn't funny. It seems like you're doing it on purpose to punish <laughs> him for burning his eggs. You're like, your egg, your pan's too hot. And then you knocked over his coffee to shit yeah. through the pan. I think in a way, because yeah. my boyfriend is so like self-sufficient and mm. organized <laughs> and perfect in these small ways, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm trying to self sabotage him yeah and, every... and you're a little parasite i'm a little of. parasite i'm covered in <laughs> lesions <laughs> i'm the world's best girlfriend yeah. well that was kind of like actually the other day we have like a couple in our building who we mm. hear fight sometimes yeah and then alex came up from the bin room or something and he was like oh i heard them fighting she like smashed a plate <gasps> and she was like aren't you gonna help me i'm bleeding and he was like you're an idiot oh and my we were like, god we we're like oh that's so terrible like we would never do that and then i swear to god like not on purpose but two minutes later i cut my finger <laughs> <laughs> i went up to him and i was like baby i'm bleeding <laughs> And it was like, did you just cut yourself to test me? And the difference is he's like sucking the blood from your yeah. finger. He was like, sit down, baby. <laughs> I'm going to get. Oh, my God. Also, I have an update. Oh, please. Um, <laughs> I have an update. You know what my update went to? I'm like, she's going to talk about rats on the cans. <laughs> she's seen a rat on a can. <laughs> I'm going to talk about having shit on my shoe. Oh, my God. Um, 
So these are the shoes that have been left out there that your beautiful mm. boyfriend Alex was like, I'm gonna clean them, baby. So and then you, guys, you like wanted to tell him to do it, but like yeah, you can't ask someone to do something. To, anyways. So I had my Crocs on the balcony. They had shit on them and Alex said he was gonna clean them. Well then the other day I stepped in shit again. Is these a different pair on of Crocs? On my sneakers, no, sneakers. not on my Crocs. And then I came inside and I went to, actually I didn't even notice. And then the next day I went to put my sneakers back on to go for a, a walk two days in a row. <gasps> Thank you. Well done. Snaps for me. <laughs> um, and, and then I noticed they had shit on them. I didn't even notice before. And I was like, oh, there's shit on my shoe. And then Alex ran out and took it from me to clean it. And then he said, well, while I'm cleaning this one, I'll clean your clothes. <gasps> so listeners, both pairs of shoes are shit free. Wow, Happy you're on to the report. up and up. Anyway, that That's was so a, huge. Yeah, I didn't plan to talk about any of that. But um, speaking of boyfriends, this yeah. is something I really wanted to talk to you about. Okay, <laughs> it's a positive thing. <laughs> is Don't it freak a out. Threesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you know I couldn't handle that jealousy yeah, wise. Yeah, yeah, no, so, <laughs> well, actually, on jealousy, and he was joking. But me and my boyfriend were playing a game where we like ask each other all these questions, and I said to him, I was like, if you could like be someone else for one day. <laughs> would you be and then he started laughing and i was like what and he's like well i could make a joke and i could say ben caution <laughs> 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 so he gets to be your boyfriend for one day and i was like very funny <laughs> very funny i thought he was gonna say joke i would be conchetta caristo so he could be like close to you in a different way which would be like such That's a gross nice. answer but then he said or maybe conchetta so then he could be ben's girlfriend but it was so just, be, yeah. Hey, both works. Ben's a hottie. But okay. Anyway, we're, we're fighting. So. Speaking of Ben, I want to ask you this. What? <laughs> Would you fuck him? <laughs> no, no, no. I swear it was nothing. Um, <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> because I saw in his Google history, he'd Googled redheads. And yeah. I was like, what's happening here? There's loads of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lauren. Okay, so here's something I, we haven't like probably talked about, but... I need to tell you that I'm fully obsessed yeah. with Ben's smell. Now, what I mean by this is like <laughs> Ben's morning breath is sort of like ecstasy to me. I'm like obsessed with that. Yeah. I want to wear it on my body like cologne. I love it so much. Sometimes I like put my nose by his mouth and I like sniff like a little baby oh, I mean, bird. Like, that's disgusting. No, it's not. And um, <laughs> no, it's not. I just want to know if this is, if anyone can relate to this, but I'm like, I'm like, Love it, love it, obsessed with it. Yeah. There's like, I love his smell. And he like, um, and I'm always telling him, I'm like, what oh my he... God, this is so beautiful. And he like, doesn't really tell me, but I think it's sort of I was implied. Say, what um, does he think of your distinctive <laughs> musk? You know what I ask him? I'm like that girlfriend who's like, so do you think you could like stiff my smell in a lineup? I'm like, would you be able to like, know yeah. that it's me from my smell? Blindfolded. There's I don't a, think there's he a would. room full of pussies. Not and. the pussy. <laughs> no, for once I'm not talking about my pussy, Lauren. I'm talking about, I'm talking neck up. I'm talking like all yeah. the smells. And so I just want to know. And then I also thought I was like, if Lauren smelled Ben, would she think it smells good? Um, and same for Alex. If we did a boyfie okay, swap. Yeah. If we did or would a we be like, swap. disgusting. Well, it's pheromones. It's oh. pheromones, baby. And you know what's interesting that I know scientifically interesting is when you are on the contraceptive pill, like mm. you're like, smell stuff and attraction stuff all changes <gasps> so that's why often like people are attracted to people in the smell and then they get into a relationship they go on the pill and then that changes and then they're like don't like the smell anymore and well pill check i'm not on it yeah you're not on it and you no nah. yeah we're both off. we are raw <laughs> so this is what we really like this is but i why i thought of this is i heard on a podcast that yeah. they were like a girl was talking about like I'm they were talking actually about ass play um and oh she was like God. saying shush get normalized sex and ass play whatever but she yeah. was like I'm so scared of like farting on him and then like they're talking about how if someone loves you they will love all of your smells like all I of the smells I think there's a difference between someone's like you know <laughs> smell like I know what you're like, about yeah, to I say I do love like my boyfriend's smell like and like people smell like it's a thing but not like fart <laughs> I don't well, think I that's don't, what... That's why it came up. They were just being like, 
don't worry. But what I think that means is, so bring it back sorry, to my queen. point, <laughs> which is you should be able to find him from your partner because they're not going oh to run God. away. Yes, but I don't need them to love the smell. No, no, that, that's a separate. <laughs> I'm not saying that. This is all. This is running away from me, Laura. Okay, I'm just okay, trying okay. to say that that's where I heard yep. it from. They were talking about smells and just liking your partner's smells. And I was like, well, speaking mm. of smells, I love my idiot men's. All those smells. Sweat. Uh, yeah. Sweat doesn't smell like sweat to me. Everything is delicious, gorgeous. I've never been like you're disgusting ever in my life, except for his own shit have i been like <laughs> yum no i'm like shut the fucking door you and psycho thank you. thank you for drawing that line <laughs> for once <laughs> for literally once there is absolutely some gray between thinking you can fart in and around yes. and near your partner <laughs> and also loving their shit their literal shit that's not the spectrum side that i'm yeah, on yeah but some on people the other do side. and apparently you want to normalize this so well i mean we're to not all... about kink shaming on this podcast well you seem to be that you are Lauren. i am yeah but like the podcast <laughs> i don't want that's not like under the banner of the podcast that's not kink shaming me lauren bonner as an individual yeah yeah you should be ashamed of every one of your kinks even small ones like just keep it to yourself and i'm the opposite i'm, <laughs> I'm flying the flag for kinks I say go off, everybody. Get them out, sniff the farts, you know. <laughs> no, I think it's so normal to be um into smells. Like that's like that's true biology. Yeah. Shit. You so know? do you know Alex's smell? Like, would you yeah. be able to sniff it in a lighter? What's I, your favorite of his smells? I think just the normal smell. Like out of a shower. Well, that's not his smell. Then you just like no, palm olive. Just like I'm not using palm olive, babe. <laughs> 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 okay, first and foremostly, it's eco store. Um. <laughs> No, I don't know. Just like, you know, the normal, like, not straight out of the shower, but like, yeah, the normal, like, neck smell. Mm. Like, I don't mind, like, the underarm. But <laughs> I, I'm not putting it up there. Like, if I had to rank them, and nor would, like, morning breath, like, yeah. be up there for me. Oh, no, because some people, like, won't have sex in the morning with morning breath. I have a feeling yeah. that when I hit 30, possibly 40, it'll be disgusting for both of us. But for right now, mm. morning is where it's at. I love it. There's nothing about it that's like, yeah. I can't get into it. Well, when you become 30, you do become a disgusting <laughs> creature. You kind of evolve into like this kind of cretin of a woman who is unemployable <laughs> by the media. You can't be seen. You can't be heard. The podcast will end in three years. <laughs> so get on Why it we now. Do it? We're doing these videos now. Like, so we have this to show our children. When we do the podcast in our 30s, it'll be like those shows where they wear giant animal masks. Like um, <laughs> those shows where you have to guess who the celebrity yeah. is. Or we'll have like bags on our head like it's an al Qaeda hostage <laughs> video. Okay, <laughs> guys. Sorry about the bags. I had a laser peel and <laughs> it did not get better. No, but I've just been reading, speaking of 30, that like about mm. your skin at 30, everything. Yeah. Everything starts to go backwards, honey. Oh yeah, this so is... we have like three years left. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to. I'm. This is that was a joke. Like I don't. I think. And mine is let's serious. Not fear age, you know, <laughs> on this podcast. I still have acne. I don't know what to do. Like, what can you? That's yeah. hopefully that will stop when I'm thirty. Mm. We can let's go downhill if yeah. that will stop. No, anyway. 30 is beautiful. Um, aging is a privilege that yeah. not everyone gets to have. So just know that I'm not, like, scared of it. I'm just saying, no. do you know how, like, especially as a comedian, the older you get, the better you are. All oh of my, my God. the best comedians I'm in the country so excited. are older. I'm better. so excited to have, like, wisdom and yeah. be better at stand-up comedy. What I mean is the privilege you have when you're young mm. to, like, treat your body like shit. Yeah. You, you are le afforded that less and less. So that's what oh, I mean yeah. by, like, it's time for me to like care I, about being in the sun for oh. 500 hours because like it's not gonna I'm not gonna have the elasticity in my yeah, face forever. I can see it, babe. Don't. <laughs> I'm gonna end this pod right now <laughs> if you say that. You can't. I already can't treat my body like shit. I like need to eat and exercise and mm. sleep, and I still don't feel good. Anyway, wait. Anyways, I have we're so far off. We're, go, go, we're go. going off topic. You were talking about attraction, mm -hmm. and that's interesting, and it leads me to well something well, I well. had. And it's going to be exciting and oh it's going to be a letdown. Um, sort of like sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a girl I went to high school with mm -hmm. is on Farmer Wants a Wife. No. Yeah. I saw her post about it. Okay. Is she in your year? Yeah. No. I went to primary school and high school with her. And then she's on Farmer Wants a Wife. And then wait for it. No. Because then we were all like, oh my God, well, we should all watch the first episode together. Because she made a big post the day before the first episode being like, hey, guys, like, like a, and it was a weird analogy. It was like, like a pig to slaughter. I'm going to be <laughs> <laughs> on Farmer Wants a Wife. <laughs> it was fucked up. And then um, we were all freaking out. We were like, that's so funny. That's so exciting. And then, like, we forgot to watch the 
first episode. This is my group of um, school friends. And then I didn't even see anything about the show, but then I just saw her other post, which was like, <gasps> well, someone had to get evicted first. I guess it was me. <laughs> so she was on Fun Was Alive for the one episode and That's already so gone. Funny. And I was like, fuck me. I was like, I could. she could be the next Abby Chatfield. She could be coming <laughs> on the pod, being a guest. But no, there's probably... No. Not much she can say about one episode. <laughs> Not much she can say. <laughs> to be honest, I would Brutal. love to get her on the pod anyway. Yeah, like what was that one day like? <laughs> it would be so funny if there's like already Instagram accounts being like what whatever her name is, like yeah. fans yeah. <laughs> for like the one outfit she wore that Bring one. Bring back <laughs> Tara. <laughs> She was Tara was robbed. Farmer Andrew was <laughs> fucked up to not choose her. But do you know what? Farmer, I don't know much about the show, but mm. I was looking at it because of her. Um, but there's like so many girls in that show because there's like four or five farmers and each farmer has like six women. It's in just, my head, each farmer gets three wives and it's polygamy. Yeah. Is that how it works? Well, that's how it should work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they get the Monday yeah. <laughs> Monday to Tuesday. You can't Wednesday. have a girl. You can't have it all. They should have one wife that's like hot. One wife to like have a baby, and then one wife to like work the fields. Work the. She's the working That's what I wife. Assume. But the reason these guys don't have wives is because they want a hot wife that can work the fields. But let me tell you, I don't want to work the field. Oh my god! I want to be on Twitter. Yeah. I want to <laughs> be doing this part. What's the Wi-Fi like out there? <laughs> do you have the NBN? No. Can I ask you what do you think was your mm. um school? I won't call her a friend. Your school colleague. Enemy. Enemy. <laughs> your frenemies. No. Um, acquaintance. <laughs> acquaintance with whom I have no ill will towards. <laughs> Tara, please. I'm sorry. But in this podcast universe, she will forever be a frenemy. Yeah. Ne- to- nemesis. Um. <laughs> Um, why do you think she went on it? I have no idea. That's what I was pretty confused Sorry, by. Sorry, but that's our first question when she gets on the pod. Please, yeah. um, why like, would reach out this? to us if you think we should get this girl on the pod. Yeah, do you guys actually want to? Like, because you actually want me to, like, go, because I don't want to talk to my real friends, okay? <laughs> Let alone have to reach out to someone I went to high school with and just, like, open a dialogue. And... Okay, but Lauren, if we had to ask yeah. someone who's fresh off a reality show, yeah. one ep in, what would be three questions you'd That'd be the top of our list to ask her. Yeah, it'd be like, yeah, why did you do it? Because I always yeah. want to know why. I guess because mm-hmm. I assume people want to do it because they like want to be in the media. Because as someone who also wants to be in the media, mm. um, who despite her best efforts... Yeah, we're going about it the wrong way. ...is not. I'm like, which reality show do I go on? It's not, should I? It's which one. Yeah. You know? Because yeah. that's how you do it. Yeah. That's how you get a freaking podcast. Mm-hmm. Well, look at us, actually. <laughs> We've done it the backwards. <laughs> We're working backwards. We're going from podcast to reality yeah, TV. Yeah, I'm doing stand-up comedy, the stupidest <laughs> thing anyone could ever do if you want a career in the media. Absolutely. Someone DM'd me on Instagram and they were like, oh, did you get onto Triple J from doing comedy? Or like, I don't know, I want to get into radio. I was like... Firstly, I'm not the person to ask. <laughs> if I knew, I would I would not be talking to you. I'd be up in I'd be up in the ivory tower with me and Tom Tilly, you know. Funny for them to go to you when there's like people who have real stable everyday jobs. Why, you think if you heard of David Woodhead? Like what are you yeah, talking about? He's Queen? around. What do you um, mean? Okay, wait, so that's anyway. question one. Why were you yeah, on why it? Why would you do that? What be what what about like what's the catering like? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's is the that food? interesting? What's the catering? What do they have to like all stay in a motel or Yeah. What's the styling? Actually I saw the photos that they took and um, Yes, that's a great question. Because the some of the photos, like she looked fine, the girl I went to school with, but some of the girls, like, they're really pretty, but they were the worst photos I've ever seen. What? They were horrendous. This girl was wearing like she was gorgeous, but she was wearing a like a blazer with shorts and it just was not good. Mm. Mm-mm. So, yeah, what's, like... There are questions. What's the, what's the food like? What's the, the fittings like? The fittings? And why did you go on it? Yeah, why did you do that? Imagine if you had to bring your own clothes. Um, That's a huge sort of yeah close-to-home gossip-based revelation for us. Yeah, and then I think that's kind of all I had on it because I was, like, ready for this to be kind of an ongoing segment of the podcast. I was like, Which what? friend do we know who's gotten on Farmer reality? check, but, like, it was in and out. So that's kind of <laughs> begin or meaning and end, middle and end um, of that whole story. That's just kind of happened. But um, if you don't have something next, I have a nah. kind of conchetta dilemma. Okay. It's just something that I've realised about myself. Again, not sure if you're like this at all or any of the listeners, um, whoever listens to this. Mm-hmm. But... My dilemma is I can be so obsessed 
it with like doing things right and between right and wrong. So like, do you mean uh, like morally? No, or like <laughs> no, like correctly. For example, like when people were doing like the locked. Remember in lockdown, everyone was like exercising, exercising at home, and then all these injuries were happening. I'm like, see, I knew this was gonna happen. I'm so obsessed with like, I don't want to do things the wrong way. Another thing is, I always read the instructions before I do anything. Whereas Ben's like instructions like I just figure it out yeah. another thing like a way that it like kind of got in the way was like oh my god I can't believe I'm gonna say this but I tried weed with my sister oh one my time did you seriously just admit that is that bad you're gonna get arrested well I just the people who <laughs> listen to this I told you Asia's listening you did what <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god, this isn't Joe Rogan. Like, what are you like? You look do I look like Elon Musk to you? Like Um, I'm sorry. Okay, but so it's the you truth. You tried weed. I tried weed and it was with a bong. Yeah. And um my sister was showing no, me. No, bongs are hard and they always make me look like oh a my stupid god. girl because people are like, Oh, you gotta do this and I'm like, actually, this is too complicated. It was so complicated. I like forgot yeah. how to breathe. I was like, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, and, and like doing maybe it wrong. the fact that I don't know my way around a bong actually does doesn't make me look bad it actually makes me look like maybe like wife material yeah wifey and a nice girl and yeah yeah it's like a wifey vibe to not know so how to you think it was hard but i remember That's being why I'm never so gonna learn. so obsessed with doing it wrong and i was like yeah. so i could i was like i'm not high i'm not high i'm not well, high and she's wrong, like you'll overdose and die <laughs> <laughs> but also like she was my sister was being like you're high tina you're high yeah. and i was she's like you're laughing so much i'm like i always laugh and she's yeah. like you're eating like cheetos like what are you and i'm like i eat <laughs> yeah, this all the time like i'm not high like it just like changes the experience because i'm so obsessed and yeah. i realize like it's why um i don't give a lot of um head or hand jobs because i'm so obsessed with doing it right i won't do it at all well, that's a shame. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Just give it a go. Give no, it a, I'm give like, it no, no, no. This is like, I, if I'm not doing it right, I'm not doing it at all. Well, I mean, that's kind of like, you know, don't let the fear of striking out stop you from playing the game at all. Because even a broken clock is right twice a day. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, you know, the better to have to have given it a shot and failed trying your best than to never tr try at all. Yeah, but that's just that's something what they that say. I deal with. That I it know. means that I'm always fixated on doing things and I can't just let go. Well, like you're a perfectionist. Maybe yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, that's right. And I'm not a perfectionist. So I won't be giving head <laughs> until I give the perfect head. Yeah, so. and I'm giving substandard <laughs> gobbies all over the place because I'm like, oh, yeah, give it a crack. I've had enough now. No, no, no. I don't want to finish the job. Moving on. <laughs> and I'm like the wise old woman at the top of a yeah. mountain that you have to like climb a hundred <laughs> steps. You're like, for if I start, <laughs> I must finish the head and it will be done to completion. Ah, ah. <laughs> I have studied for years <laughs> yeah. and I'm finally ready to give it into practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have a long uh. white beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you grew it for the head because it's like optimal users, like a cock ring. Wrap it around. <laughs> This is getting gross. And there's, do you want me to choke it out? Yeah. <laughs> choke you can it do out. anything. It's like a rope. <laughs> I don't know. I would say you should just try yeah. um, giving things a crack because failure is part of life. Totally. And, you know, that's pretty deep of me to say. But Thank you. We learn from when we fail. That's like me always telling you to do gigs at the Gold Coast mm. pub mm -hmm. to five people. To say people. yes to everything. We go to these, we do lots of nice, fun shows, but then we also go to do these gigs. And Conchetta, when you first did them, you were like, this is going to be bad. And I'm like, it is going to be bad. And that's what makes it the best gig in the country. <laughs> <laughs> the best gigs are the worst gigs. I want that to be said about my head. They're like, yeah, it's going to be bad, but it'll be the best head you ever get. <laughs> She's trying her best. She's trying her best. Well, I guess that's like you are in a monogamous relationship. So, like, even if your head is bad, it's still better than no it, <laughs> than head. Nothing. Where else is he getting it? <laughs> this is how I'll go to him, like, mm. you ready for him? And then like I'm like, well, and then go like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your head. It's actually just a hand job because you're like, yeah. no. <laughs> you draw the line at liking his smell <laughs> below the belt. That's that's me. That's my dilemma. That's interesting. Yeah, my problem solver for that is to just like, yeah, don't do just that. Just to like, don't do that. <laughs> just a really simple, simply put, and that's probably why I should be like a therapist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, don't yeah. do that. Just do it.
Just throw yourself into it. Never yeah. let go. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Throw yourself into it. Throw your back out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give it a red hot go. I've got um, some listener gossip here. Mm-hmm. If you wanted to get into that. Yeah. Do you want to get into that? Yeah, I am ready. Um, I had a few. I put a call out. So also remember, listeners, please write in with your gossip. Um, this is an interesting one, and it made me think of, like, you know, how things used to work in the olden days and mm. how things work now. I saw someone wrote in to say that, like, her nan and granddad met when he literally just, like, followed her home from town. <laughs> he just followed her all the way home Whoa. and then, like, asked to come into her house. And then she was, like, with her, like, friend at the time, and then they were, like yeah all right come in because he was like hot oh my god so he just like if this happened today like let's be clear like don't follow me home mm. but like he just followed her home and they were like what are you doing and he's like i'm just following you and then he was like can i come inside and then she let him in and then they got married <laughs> in the house when and he walked in just how the 50s oh, or the 30s that's how i or... wish i met ben i wish that man followed me home followed, from you, a gig so you followed him home i followed him home <laughs> You followed him for 40 days and 40 nights. Mm -hmm. Just Um, like in Jewish tradition. Yeah. And that's what pays off. But are we married yet? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm Mm-mm. That man's going to make me white. Mm -mm. (laughs) That's crazy because it's like, is that what Jack the Ripper did? He, like, followed (laughs) people home. Mm. And um, they were like, he's hot. And then Nick Minute did. I mean, I don't think so. Jack the Ripper... Um, or at least what I learned on my Jack the Ripper tour in London, Whitechapel, <laughs> when I went with my mum, was that he killed exclusively sex <gasps> workers. Sex workers. So, yeah, he followed them home from the sex he work. He followed them home. <laughs> <It's> not- <laughs> Is it too soon to talk about Jack the Ripper? I hate that I'm always just like Jean Benet, like living it up, talking about every other murder. Yeah. But then we're like, actually, guys, could we just have a bit of <laughs> respect for the victims of Jack the Ripper? I mean, yeah, we do respect them. Jack the Ripper, to me, that's like the oldest crime in the world. It is the oldest crime in the world. <laughs> that, Can one, we... that one has like, what's that thing where like you can't do May anything we... with it legally? Yeah, like um, statute of limitations. Yeah, it's out. Out. we're way out. That we was... can... <laughs> yeah. Okay, great story. Give me story. a break. Great story. Um, and now then... everything's all online. Yuck, 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 <laughs> yuck, yuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go. And then this is also like kind of another classic one, which reminded me of you, Conchetta. Oh, love to hear it. <laughs> Uh, and it's like a schoolyard gossip. So a guy from school, he was um, like fucking his girlfriend on his parents' bed. And mm-hmm. apparently his parents walked in on them. <gasps> shocked. He pulled out. No. And then she shat all over the bed. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, is that, is that? Is this real? Well, you know, is it real? I don't know. <laughs> you know, that's what That we- is a story that goes to me at the top of the, yeah. the top of the heap. That's a story that would define everyone in that story. The mm-hmm. shitter, the dick yeah. guy. The parents. The, the it would parents. change your relationship with your parents. everything. For the rest of your life. I think, because I remember there was like a, you know, an old gossip story from my school, which was like, oh, did you hear such and such was fucking this guy and she sh- shit, she shat while they were fucking. You know what? I bet if we like got on actually like a sex professional, they'd yeah. be like, yeah, shitting is happening all the time. Well, if you think about the anatomy of it, mm. like if there's something going on and then there's sex and yeah, could gravity all get loosened, like that's a new fear for you to have, I guess, as yeah. someone. Well, as someone who's sort of famously also constipated a lot, yeah. um, mm. not not really likely in my near future. You don't find it loosens up? <laughs> no, it's sort of as if I have one of those, you know, the things that like um, crush. You know the guy who's like, meet me, and then the other guy from Road Looney Runner. Tunes? Roadrunner. And then what's the one that chases Roadrunner? Okay, this is a crazy This analogy. is the roundabout way. This is what my nonna would do when she, like, not really remember a word. Yeah. Um, so it's like, not Roadrunner. <laughs> In Italian. <laughs> the guy. All of my bells are there like the Roadrunner. It is uh, the, the, the anvil. Anvil. That is my shit. It's like an anvil inside so that every time... I'm getting like pounded. He's like, it's actually ching, co- ching, ching, it. ching. Yeah, it's like hitting yeah. a wall. And it's tightening up your pussy because it's yeah. bulging out into there. So that my story would be Ben pulls out an anvil full of shit, falls out of me, <laughs> and then breaks through your floor <laughs> and falls into the apartment underneath <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. And hits the person. Yeah, on and the kills head, them. And it kills them. Yeah. A la Jack the Ripper. A <laughs> la yeah. Jack the Ripper. That's how he did it. Yeah. <laughs> 
love these stories. I thought that was grotesque. I love so I just want to like I'm like a full of energy. I just want to like I want to talk to strangers. I want to hear their like craziest life stories Get that's <laughs> happened to a friend or another one because people keep living on and moving yeah. on. And the thing that I said no. I wouldn't say but I'm just going to yeah. say it is that I found this Twitter thread and it was so interesting and to paraphrase it, it was just people being like, I'll never forget, like I was in class and then a teacher like admitted to the class that they'd like, he'd killed a man. What? And then it's just this thread of things that teachers like revealed, not even just revealed, they like randomly like dropped them in. Yeah. Of they were like, yeah, like just, I should have done trigger warning, but like, I just wish I could like mention some of the things to you. So it was like, the, it how was did just they someone... kill the person? Did they say? But do you know what I mean? It's like I'll never forget when my high school government teacher randomly admitted to our class that he had killed a man, and then what? the rest are people being like, "Yeah, I had a teacher who was like, I know how to cook meth," and then kids were like, "Can you show? Is that real?" And then they went and showed the kids how to cook meth. You can't and there's show all the these kids. people being like, "At my school too. At my school too." And then there's this ethics teacher who was like trigger warning they were playing soccer and they saw someone try to like be right like they j just imagine being in a class and a teacher like being like yeah this happened to me and then moving on teachers are people too so i thought it was so they drop some stuff that is something that was very there was some that made me laugh that's funny i then i've got um some other gossip i've got some comedy ish gossip mm. um which is i don't even know who this is about it came from it from someone i don't know where they live if they're in australia or mm. not so I'm not, this is not naming anyone, but they said that there was like a comedian that they knew who like made um, like YouTube sketches and skits and yeah. stuff. And then he got um, accused of sexual no. assault, which is, again, that's not really narrowing it down. Mm. Comedian accused mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. sexual assault. That could be anyone. Yeah. Um, and then he just now like <gasps> makes videos by himself with like a green screen. And he even like has reshot some of the exact same sketches, but like he plays all the characters no. with a green screen. <laughs> no, no. Like the nutty professor. Oh my God, that is so sad. Is that crazy? That's the quintessential like comedian. That's classic. Classic, sad man comedian. That's is Bill Cosby going to remake The Cosby Show, but he does oh all my the characters. God. Bill Cosby's doing a tour. Because he's out tour. now. He's out. He's out and he's doing a comedy tour. Bill Cosby's free and Britney is not. Yeah. Which is something we haven't talked about in this pod and I'm ashamed to say I don't know much about it. I think we're going to talk about free Britney, but before we do so, we're going to do a lot of research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll actually have to go back to school yeah. on I'm that gonna one. I'm going to have to go to law school <laughs> like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> we're not doing, we're not going to talk about free Britney until Kim Kardashian passes the baby bar yeah. and can come on to speak on the issue <laughs> Yeah, as a certified legal professional. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the other actual, I had um, some other comedy gossip, which I thought was relevant because mm. as, you know, Believe it or not, we are stand-up comedians. Mm. Um, and there's, like, the gossip site um, Du Moi, if you know it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they had a blind item, which was about a comedian that we don't know, but I thought that we could maybe s speculate. Sure. And it said, I have it on very good authority that this comedian is into being dominated <gasps> in the bedroom and has no problem dropping thousands of dollars to have someone to do so. He has been known to give doms upwards of 5 k 5k to buy whatever they need to make the experience perfect no kink shaming here <gasps> but this all occurred while married okay so we've got comedian who's married jerry seinfeld who has lots of money it's like yeah who could it be jerry please seinfeld? no it's not jerry i i know you it's don't not think jerry. it's jerry no no it's not jerry <laughs> my whole world no! will be rocked because jerry's just like a plain man which yeah. is also what Ben is. He's vanilla. And that's why I love them. I guess I think Jerry Seinfeld would be vanilla. He's, I just think, like, that's, that's what, if you know Ben, you'll be like, is there something behind? And it's like, no, I'm telling you, I've seen <laughs> from the front to the back behind to him. The he's just a simple man. It's like, There's is there something wrong? He's like, on. I'm tired. And he, guess what? He's tired. If you ask me, wow. am I tired? And I say, I'm tired. I'm depressed, Ooh. sad, over, <laughs> like, I'm a million different things. Yeah. Ben is just tired. So that's what I put Jerry Seinfeld in the camp. Who are more... Oh my god! Like John Mulaney, who was married. Oh, he's like seems like a nice. The nice ones like a dirty. Yeah, true. John Except who for Ben, he's very even. <laughs> <Just, laughs> um, okay, wait. So I was trying to think of like, yeah, what comedians have enough Oh my money god, for this? like Chris um, Rock, maybe. Yeah, Chris Rock. Um, what's that short guy? Um, Chris he's like a, Rock. No, no. Short. Um, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Um, that guy. Um. 
This could be any of them. And yeah. so do write in if What's you annoying have is been like paying. why didn't they just name them? I know, I hate that. That's like so stupid. You don't, I feel like when you like get that famous, if you're like as famous as Kevin Hart, like just name them. What's gonna happen? Just come. And do you think if someone was like open about their kink, do you think they would totally lose fans? Dominating isn't even that bad. Like I that's feel like if they were married, ooh. Oh. All good, all good. That's all right. I feel like if they were married, I think that is where it gets kind of weird. And then I guess oh, like the army, yeah. army hammer, you know, that kind of backfired. Oh on my him. god, so true. <laughs> Although he was, that was not just kink. That was yeah. he's a pretty a bad manipulative bad man. Guy. <laughs> well, um, anyway, think on it. Think on it. Everyone, think on it. And um, you know, again, Honest. talk about it with your Uber drivers if that's still yeah. happening, and your friends and your family. Think about it. Think about it. I, d- I can't think of anyone else. Maybe yeah. it's Pee Wee Herman. Who is that? Um, Maybe it's um, Gabrielle Inglacius. <laughs> oh, my God, Fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> he'd have the money. Yes, yeah, so he's got, true. He'd have so much money. Maybe um, it was Amy Schumer. Okay. No, it was he. No, I don't. I can't remember. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think just because we hear comedian, we say that it must be a man. Mm, definitely heard a he but i know what you're saying you're right we are know. sexist i don't know we are sexist because we may stand here and be women stand-up comedians but when you say who's a stand-up comedian we think men we, we think, think jerry seinfeld we think jerry seinfeld and that's something we need to work on yeah internally internally well is that it for the week i think so did you have anything else what else happened this week anything mm. what's in the fucking news i don't nothing nothing far more happening. to life uh <laughs> <laughs> No, it's all pretty, um, um, like I said, I'm equal parts good and bad, if you ask me how I was. Yeah, it's yin and yang. I'm both awful and the happiest I've ever I'm been. I'm anxious <laughs> and I'm depressed. <laughs> you know, it's nice. They work together. They fight against each other and it, it all kind of, you know, comes together in a way that means we have to have a podcast. Yeah. So if you are listening and you're thinking, I wish they had more gossip, well, actually, that's your fault. So send it to us. Yeah. Curious Cat, Big Natural Talents, it's in the links. It can of all be anonymous. It doesn't have to be your own. It can be so anonymous. And you know what always happens? Because it's like, mm. I know you have gossip because people will like DM me about something else. And then mm. I'll say, oh, by the way, do you have any gossip? And they'll be like, oh, yeah, actually, my science teacher fucked his cat. I don't know. <laughs> Would you want to hear that- about that? <laughs> yeah. I want to hear about that. <laughs> oh, and that's me when anyone says anything lovely to me about the podcast. Yeah. Thank you so much. But I'm always like, but have you rated and reviewed, hun? And I was yeah. like, no, sorry, I forgot. I'm so busy. Just so yeah, remember can... there's work to do. <laughs> there's always work to do. We're working week in, this week out. Is, Same for you. It's a two-way street. Okay, guys, rate, review, send us gossip, send us feedback. If you want to um, send us even a voice recording of you telling us a story, mm. feel free to email it through at bignaturaltalents at gmail.com. If you want some advice about how to get into Triple J, because Lauren's been on yeah. a few times and I've never even been inside the building, um, just email us the same thing if you have any questions yeah, yeah, feel free yeah. to dm us ask me i guess and um i won't be able to tell you and but... i'll just speculate <laughs> i'll wildly speculate about what i think how to break into the radio industry mm, how to break into the town <laughs> <laughs> you need to sing a song and you need a radio voice <laughs> <laughs> and you can be fugly as sin because you're hidden and if you are a big commercial radio producer listening well, welcome to the radio <laughs> with Ranga and the Meatball. We're here on Wednesdays and Sundays at 6 a.m. I'm so excited because Chet Faker's going to be in the studio in oh, five minutes. We are tearing it up. But first, let's talk about our wife's craziest farts. <laughs> uh, I think that's about it. <laughs> We're done. All right, bye.